So it is Tuesday around 11.30 and our power just went out. We have um, hurricane strength winds here, um, kind of like what Iowa had like a month ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, hopefully we don't have anywhere near as much damage as Iowa has, um, but I do have a coworker who had some big trees fall down in her yard. Luckily no one was injured and it didn't hit her house. So she's dealing with that, um, but the winds hit her area um, late last night, early this morning, and they still don't have power. So I'm not expecting us to get our power turned back on anytime soon, um, but that obviously means there's no Wi-Fi, which means I can't work. So I am impatiently waiting for something to happen that probably won't happen. And I have crazy alien hair because my hair is long and in the way and I shower over lunch. But now we don't have power. Since the power is still out and I have nothing to do, I have decided that I am gonna put the bed frame together. Woohoo! A nice natural finish. Very excited. It will uh, fill the room up. A lot but we wanted to get a queen size bed for you visitors so uh, you're gonna just be in a tiny room with a big bed does the instruction specifically say not to do this by yourself yes does it say to have at least two people yes am I going to listen no so I will keep you updated on uh, if I'm able to actually put this together or if I have to halfway do it and then wait for Killian to come home to lift stuff. So we shall see. I will keep you updated. So update, I put one of these things in here where there shouldn't be one and I can't pull it out. So now I'm trying to drill it out and my hair fell out and I just don't care. Okay, so I was able to drill a hole through so that it goes to there and double checked that this fits in there, goes into that little thingy majig. Had to use a much thicker drill bit thing than I thought. Um, I originally thought that maybe I could just use a little guy. I don't know if you can see it. This little guy. Um, drill through the center and pull it out. Um, but obviously it just pulled out and the little piece of wood thing that's stuck in there stayed put. So had to legit drill through the wood piece. So now we'll be one short somewhere, which should be fine. Um, it won't break on you guys, I promise. It's in! It is in. I had to use this thick of a thing because then that got plugged up and then this would get plugged up and then this would get it took way too long just follow the instructions so Killian came home early from work because I sold because <laughs> I sold <laughs> the microwave and the oven so all of the black appliances are gone. We just have the fridge that we decided to sell and that's possibly getting picked up tomorrow, which is wonderful. We'll have so much room. Um, but Stephanie, my coworker messaged us and she said not to expect the power to come back on for another day or two, possibly three according to KSL. Killian doesn't know what I've recorded. So he's giving me a look and he wants to take over. I was gonna hold it for you. You do that. So I asked Killian to bring the vacuum up so I could vacuum up all these little um, pieces of wood and stuff. And he's like, why would I bring the vacuum up? And I'm like, because I need to vacuum. Forgetting that obviously we have no power and that's clearly the only reason why I'm doing this. So it is complete. I did it all by myself. I only smashed my finger once. 
and I think you can kind of see the nail mark, um, which resulted in a cuss word or two, but it is all put together. I would like to take a second to brag. I brought the big mattress in a box up two flights of stairs from outside all by myself. And I did it all by myself too. So we're gonna let it inflate because it's like a memory foam one. So it needs like a day or something to fully inflate back up and we should be good. So here's half a couch or half a sectional. There's supposed to be a section that goes over here and a chase that comes out. However, when it was delivered, it was damaged or had a tear in the leather. So we're supposedly gonna get the other half of it on this coming Thursday. Put some storage in, in the garage. Kind of a little bit of a mess. Got some random boxes and stuff. Got the hose here, installed a cover for the back of the truck so it locks and you can haul like four or five hundred pounds on top of it if need be I guess. But that took a lot longer, it said 45 minutes and uh, Lo and behold, it wasn't 45 minutes. Shocker. Sunday today. Doing a hike. The first mile of this hike is pretty much all of the elevation gain. Um, like a thousand feet over a mile so it's kind of just very steady up kind of hoping that it goes into trees right now we're kind of in arid desert plants so I don't know if we're gonna end up going into evergreens or not I guess we'll find out it's still pretty smoky um, not as bad as it has been because there was a pretty violent storm that came through a few days ago. But uh, all the fires from California and Oregon, all the smoke's pushing this way. So it is what it is. I'll try to zoom in enough, but it's pretty far away. It'll be so blurry. Yeah, probably pretty blurry. Got one lone hot air balloon over top the ridges. So it looks like there's a transition Got some trees. into trees. Some aspen, or is it birch? White I don't know. Birch. White, did a report on them. white paper birch. Giovanna did a report on them. It's so weird because you got this total desert arid trees. And then a thick, thick birch forest. As I said before, there was a violent storm that came through uh, at the beginning of this week. Tons and tons of people lost power, us included. And there was even on Friday, there was still people without power. They're going on four or five days with nothing. Um, there was like a 200,000 homes that were mm -hmm. out of power by the 
On Tuesday. On Tuesday or the day after the storm. Um, we were looking at this tree and we we're like, holy crap, how is it bent? How did it just bend and not break to lay on the trail over there? But it was obviously at a slant to go with everything. So it, it did rip out, but a lot, of, a lot of trees this happened to. This massive evergreen tree in the middle of another birch forest. There's a child. Yeah. Here's its child, Ivana says. Out of the aspen forest, back into the high desert vegetation. Got aspens down there, more bush thingies, evergreens out there. And I guess this trail, I don't know if it just follows this ridge line, but we have hiked the majority of the elevation gain. So I think at the very end, like the last quarter mile, or maybe a little bit more, third of a mile, shoots back up. But uh, otherwise I think this should be pretty easy going up top, up top here. <laughs> 